Warriors, I'm back and I'm back with more actual fighting techniques instead of just talking all the time. So I know that's what y'all like to see. We're gonna be doing a one, two, three combo today. So one thing I noticed with a lot of people, especially watching a lot of amateurs on the bag, is they'll stand in front of the bag and they'll throw one, two, three, right? And they'll stay there. They'll go one, two, three, one, two, three, and they'll reset, right? Well, this is a terrible habit. And I'm gonna tell you why right now, because you're getting used to standing in front of somebody and not moving at all and getting hit, right? So like the bag doesn't hit back, we all know this, and that's why it's like kind of bad to do most of your training on the bag. You need to spar and you need to do mitt work. But a lot of people like never really kind of make that transition, which is, it's gonna say it's okay, it's really not. So what I see is one, two, three, and sometimes they even look crisp, right? Sometimes they look, they look crisp, but then I see them and they don't move, right? And then the next tier up that I see on that is where guys will go one, two, three, and they'll kind of move a little bit, right? Which is good, that's absolutely like perfect, but what are we getting wrong here? Movement is life in a fight, right? So like if I'm, if I'm gonna square up with you and I throw a one, two, three, what do I need to expect coming back? <laughs> a bunch of barrage punches, right? Even if I land, I'm, I'm probably gonna get hit if I stay right in front of you. So what I wanna do instead is I wanna really fine tune it and work on a bunch of little techniques all in one technique so that that way when I do go on the bag, it's second nature that I'm moving after every punch that I throw. So here's what I propose, and again, if you guys seen the MMA Diaries video that I just, or series that I just started, I'm working with a coach right now to get ready for an MMA fight down the line that um, he's really big on movement and I've been picking up a lot of great tips from him. So I'm gonna share this with you guys and this comes directly from my um, striking coach, MMA coach. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw that jab out, right? We're gonna bring it back opposite to the pocket. I'm gonna go a step over here so you can see my footwork as well. All right, I think you can see this. So I'm gonna throw that jab out nice and crisp, but I'm gonna bring it back. Right, now I'm gonna throw that one. As I'm throwing the one, check where my head is going. Actually, I'll show it to you guys closer here, and then you can see the footwork after. So I'm throwing that jab, right? One, and I'm bringing it back, and then I'm throwing that two, but notice where my head's going on that two, all right? So it's one, two, and then I move, my head moves offline. I'm expecting to get something coming back at me, right? So one, two, and I'm here and I'm moving my head offline. The footwork on this is kind of important too. And I'll show you why in a second. But for now, one, two, all right? And then we're offline, where head is offline. It's just like shooting, right? It's tact, tact, shooting. It's just like where you step off the X, we're stepping off the X here, all right? And then we're gonna get ready for a three. Now when we throw this three, we're not just gonna come and throw the three. Just terrible three. We're not just gonna come and throw the three. As we're throwing that three, we're gonna take advantage of the movement here and step and come across and utilize our, what would you call that? Centrifugal force? No one's here. Centrifugal force? I'm just gonna call it that. So it's one, two, three, all right? You'll see Tyson do this a lot. It's been uh, become fairly popular, I think, in like a lot of Instagram videos that I've shared where uh, you'll see Tyson and he'll actually, he does it like this and you'll see him almost like take a jump step. But what I've been training is a, a replacement step, and I, gotta be honest, I still don't have the replacement step all the way down, but it looks something, something like this. One, two, three, all right? One, two, three. And I always do more of kind of that jump step, but whatever fucking works, whatever works. Um, here's what I want to show you with the footwork, though, and I don't have a cameraman, I'm always a one-man operation here, so, Whatever, but let's take a look at the footwork and see what can go wrong if we know uh, if we mess this up. So if I'm too tight up here on my feet, tight up is this, where you're too close, you're off balance. I would take a fucking strong wind and we'll push you over, right? If I'm too close and I threw that here, look at this. I'm like two inches away from falling over completely, crumbling all over 
take this, uh, my opponent to throw <laughs> a light tap at me and I'd go down, right? So the key to this is to keep a wide foot. So instead of like that more orthodox, kind of almost type of boxing stance that you'll see sometimes, keep a wide stance. So one, two, all right? Now I'm, I'm even probably not wide enough. I'm even wider here, one, two. All right, now I've got a more stable platform and it still doesn't feel that stable. One, two, now I've got a more stable platform to come through that three. So it's not something I've perfected yet, but it's something I'm working on. And uh, I think if you work on this, if you work on one, right, through the jab, two, remember to move your head, three, and move out of the way with that three and take advantage of the fact that this leads to this. And this leads to power, right? One, two, three. And we come across and then we outflank our opponent. It's like we talk about the small unit tactics stuff, counter ambush drills, move up, outflank. And so you can think about this the same way as, oh shit, some shit's about to go down in the street. Let me just counter ambush this guy. One, two, three. And then I move out of the way and I'm to his flank. Now I can grab him up and throw elbows at him. I can fucking tie clench him, lace him with knees. Um, I think the world's your oyster at that point. You can do fair burns, shoulder locks, and ha cha. Kill him, you know, <laughs> kill him with kindness, so to speak. So, but just train that, guys, if you want. Go on the heavy bag, and instead of just sitting there going one, two, three, one, two, three, try it like one, two, move, three. And I think that you'll, uh, you'll feel more pro when you do that, as I know I do. Until next time, please remember that you were your first and the last line of defense. I'll see you on the next video. Cheers, motherfuckers.